Hi students, the most amazing topic from the organic chemistry from NEET examination preparation, alkanes. Now, alkanes is very important as it carries one question undoubtedly from NEET examination paper. Before going for the discussion about the NEET based question from the alkanes, just I just want to produce the score examination, India's largest scholarship examination. Why this is called as the India's largest scholarship examination? Because it's worth of 1 crore rupees scholarship is distributed to the students community and while it in the description box the link is there and you all just click it and enroll your score examination. To write this score examination you need not related to the infinity lane. You may be a student from the infinity lane, you may not be a student from infinity lane. You can enroll and you can write this neat uh, scholarship score examination at home online and you see a scholarship worth of 1 crore rupees and study setup as well as laptop is available depending upon performance and also education allowances and up to 100% scholarship for the any course that you choose from the infinity lane. While it, it is there in the description box just click it and enroll now and experience the score examination online and also happy diwali to you all and infinite lane is providing you diwali gift to you that is neat 2025 all india test series pack and this test series pack is contains 27 eits examination papers 20 full syllabus mock test and 25 topic wise PYQs and 3 PCB books along with video solutions on the app and performance reports and your assessments and your performance is benchmarked with Sri Chaitanya and for the precise rank analysis and it's a limited time offer for Diwali and this cost was 5999 and for the Diwali and we are giving from infinity land 50 percent off how it is just simply use youtube 50 off coupon code tabhi aapko milega usme aada 2999 violet in the description box the link is available and you just click it and enjoy your need preparation and moving forward we are talking about the alkanes need based ncrt questions and alkanes when it comes to alkanes you will be having a questions based on the preparation of alkanes like woods reaction cori house synthesis frankland reaction and grignard reaction and decarboxylation colby electrolysis and the properties like chlorination free radical halogenation and also oxidation and aromatization and also conformations of ethane butane and cyclohexane so let's start with the questions and how it is asked and I'm going to explain you with a lot of tricks and this is your question. Sodium propionate on decarboxylation with soda line gives. So this is a decarboxylation. When this decarboxylation happens, this sodium salt of carboxylic acid is heated with soda lime. What is soda lime? Calcium oxide plus sodium hydroxide. On heating what happened? This is going to be decarboxylated. So, removal of carbon dioxide is called decarboxylated as a product is going to be Na2CO3 and this is going to form it as an alkane. So, the product is going to alkane. So, what is this? Key point in this reaction is if this carboxylic acid contain n number of carbons and the corresponding alkane is going to have n minus 1 number of carbons. So, sodium propionate is given. What is this sodium propionate? CH3, CH2, COONA. When it is treated with calcium oxide plus sodium hydroxide, you are going to get CH3 and CH3. Ethane is going to be the product. Here, three carbons are there and the product should contain two carbons. This reaction is important from alkane as well as any kind of descending conversions in the total organic chemistry. So, my answer for this question is going to be ethane 
is the correct answer for this question like this we have to follow through the questions to answer in appropriate methodology students follow our lessons and uh, these sessions contain a super awesome tricks so that you can seamlessly you can enter into your examination and confidently you can write the answers right and one more which of the following reactions can be employed for the preparing unsymmetrical alkanes is a good yield so to prepare the symmetrical alkanes woods reaction is the best by using woods reaction you can prepare only symmetrical alkanes and even number carbon alkanes but unsymmetrical you cannot do that and whereas a corey house synthesis you can prepare for symmetrical alkanes as well as unsymmetrical alkanes so i just want to say for this both symmetrical as well as unsymmetrical corey house is the one of the best method for the preparation of alkanes so for this question corey house synthesis is the answer for this question and moving forward here which of the following alkanes cannot be produced by coal based electrolysis of sodium or potassium salt of carboxylic acids when sodium or potassium salts of carboxylic acids you just see cooh this is the potassium salt of carboxylic acid for i just want to take its neighboring molecule when it is subjected for electrolysis in the aqueous solution you are going to see the formation of potassium hydroxide and also you can see the formation of carbon dioxide at anode and hydrogen at cathode and higher alkane at anode these are the products formed at anode and this is the product formed at cathode so when you look at this product the alkane is a higher alkane so these two has to be coupled together when two things are coupled in a higher alkane is formed but when you talk about this methane a single carbon containing alkane cannot be prepared by this method so for this question methane is the correct answer for this question and moving forward here young heptane when heated at a temperature about 800 kelvin in the presence of cr2o3 and al2o3 the product formed is so this reaction is a lengthy higher alkanes when it is subjected to heat in the presence of alumina and cr2o3 at high temperature and pressure cyclization followed by aromatization takes place let's say here young heptane 1 2 3 4 5 6 so this is n hexane you are going to heat with cr2o3 and al2o3 the product formed is going to be benzene because the cyclization six membered ring is going to be more stable so if you want to say n heptane this is your n heptane seven carbons so seven membered carbon will not be formed six membered carbon is going to be formed so that you are going to get a methyl benzene this is called as a toluene so my answer for this question is going to be toluene is the correct answer for this question so like that for every question simple methodologies are there aap ye simple methodology istemal karke aap answer de sakte hai ye cheez ke liye ek question ka six membered ring hamesha stable hota hai and aur ek question hai the reaction conditions leading to the best yield of ethyl chloride so sare ke sare reaction dekh lo aapka ethyl chloride form ho sakte hai except dark in room temperature b do not react so in this case when you talk about if you take an excess 
excess c2 h6 plus cl2 if you take an excess chlorine you are going to see the formation of a polychlorination but here you are going to see c2 h5 cl is going to be the product and also moving ahead the number of structural isomers which can be theoretically obtained on monochlorination of 2 methyl butane pehle dekhna chahta hu ye 2 methyl butane kya hoga this is your 2 methyl butane agar ye monochlorinate karne ka baat in the presence of light you are going to see the formation of various monochloro products पहले ये मोनोक्लोरिनेशन यहाँ पे बनाना चाहता हूँ सो दिस इज द मोनोक्लोरिनेटेड प्रोडक्ट एक हाइड्रोजन निकाल के क्लोरीन सब्सटीट्यूट करना पड़ता है यहाँ पर और एक मोनोक्लोरिनेटेड प्रोडक्ट यहाँ पर और एक मोनोक्लोरिनेटेड प्रोडक्ट यहाँ पर और एक मोनोक्लोरिनेटेड प्रोडक्ट सो क्लोरिनेशन यहाँ पर यहाँ पर दोनों बराबर होगा एंड स्ट्रक्चरली आई कुड गेट फोर मोनोक्लोरिनेटेड प्रोडक्ट एंड यहाँ पर देख लो इट इज ए chiral center now now it is specially mentioned it is a structural isomer don't have to consider the chirality over there so i could get 1 2 3 four monochlorinated products are going to be formed so this is the simplest method to answer the questions from the alkanes it is very easy and you can do with lot of confidence and द कॉम्पाउंड विथ हाइएस्ट बॉइलिंग पॉइंट एक ट्रिक बोलना चाहता हूँ सिर्फ आपके लिए बॉइलिंग पॉइंट ऑफ द आल्केस बॉइलिंग पॉइंट ऑफ आल्केस आर वेरी लेस एंड वेरी क्लोज ऑफकोर्स द बॉइलिंग पॉइंट इज डायरेक्टली प्रपोर्शनल टू मॉलिकुलर वेट देखो सब और सब का मॉलिकुलर फॉर्मूला एक ही होगा मॉलिकुलर वेट भी सेम होगा अगर मॉलिकुलर वेट सेम होगा तो सो बॉइलिंग पॉइंट is directly proportional to molecular weight agar molecular weight same hoga to boiling point inversely proportional to branching jis alkane mein branching zyada hai us alkane ka boiling point kam hoga so that you can see yan hexane is the linear one so it will be having the highest boiling point among all so this is the simplest trick you can have in your mind and you can just crack the questions so 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 easy and propane is obtained from propane by which of the following method ch3 and ch double bond ch2 this is a propene ye propene se propane kaise nikal sakte hain ch3 ch2 and ch3 it is a normal propane and simply add hydrogen in the presence of any catalyst so that is called catalytic hydrogenation so my answer for this question is going to be catalytic hydrogenation like that all the topics have been covered in this along with questions so question versus concept you can see alkyl halide react with dialkyl copper reagent so what is this so it is the simplest and the important dialkyl lithium cuprate this is what you call it as a gilman reagent when it is reacted with uh, alkyl chloride so by sn2 reaction it is going to give us rise alkane so this reaction what you call it as core house synthesis so my answer for this question is going to be alkane and it is very important and what do you say this is a bromochlorocyclobutane when it is treated with sodium in dioxane the product is going to be sodium in the presence of in it ether the reaction is going to be woods reaction in this woods reaction the reactivity order is going to be alkyl iodide is more reactive than alkyl bromide is more reactive than alkyl chloride is more reactive than alkyl fluoride 
alkyl fluoride do not react in the woods reaction so i just want to say when the bromine and the chlorine are there usme bromine react hoga chlorine nahi react hoga so iska hisab se so this is going to be the cyclobutane and it is a bromine and it is a chlorine and this is your cyclobutane and it is a bromine and it is a chlorine in the presence of sodium in ether dioxin is ether you are going to see bromine and bromine is eliminated as a sodium bromide as a result of this the product is going to be chlorine and the chlorine the product is going to be option a for this question so it is a very important model of the question asked in many times in the previous entrance examinations and one more which of the following alkyl bromides may be used for the synthesis of 2 comma 3 dimethyl butane by woods reaction so it is a symmetrical alkene for that you need a symmetrical alkyl halide so you talk about the isopropyl bromide ch3 and ch and ch3 and the br and the two moles are used when it is treated with sodium and dry ether you are going to get a ch3 ch and a ch3 and a ch and a ch3 it's a coupling reaction so that it is going to be two first carbon two and three dimethyl butane so just i just want to take it is isopropyl bromide is the answer for this question and also we will be having in which of the following is the most stable conformation of n butane n butane it is a newman projection and in the newman projection you are going to get a repulsion between these two more repulsion and it is a less stable and it is a gauchy conformation and it is an eclipsed more and more repulsions are there it is also unstable and it is partially eclipsed and it is an eclipsed fully eclipsed and it is a partially eclipsed and it is also having a kind of repulsion whereas in the methyl groups are completely opposite and this conformation is anti where repulsions are minimum energy is lower and it is the most stable conformer as far as the n butane is concerned so my answer for this question is going to be option b and i just want to take one of the weird one of the weird and uh, difficult question you people feel it but i am going to present this in the simplest way which of the following is the least stable conformer of cyclohexane chair conformer boat conformer twist boat conformer and a half chair conformer when you talk about this half chair conformer yes of course the stability order is going to be chair conformer is more stable than boat conformer between that twist boat conformer is more stable than boat conformer then half chair conformer why this half chair conformer is most stable unstable here it is highest energetic because 1 2 1 2 3 4 five carbons are in the same plane he is experiencing the repulsion by the all the top carbon so that every carbon is going to experience the repulsion that's the reason why it is the least stable so the least stable is going to be the option d like that you are going to have various types of question from alkanes so alkanes the topic is very simple in the preparation wise some more reactions are there like woods reaction grignard reaction franklin reaction cori's house synthesis kolbe's electrolysis and uh, um, many more decarboxylation and the properties and free radical halogenation and uh, aromatization and oxidation and isomerism 
conformations are there. So, these are the topics you plan in such a way that and you are going to answer this type of questions and all the best for NEET examination and prepare well and please share like this session, share with your friends and subscribe to Infinity Learn NEET channel. Thank you very much. Thank you.